So we are ready for the final step on our Aspen tree project. And so even though this is the final step, if it takes you a couple of days, that's totally fine. So if you wanna take your time and do some foliage today, let it dry, do a little bit more tomorrow, that's absolutely okay. I have right here three colors of paint. And so this is tempera paint. And so, and this could stain your clothes. I would advise for this, wear a paint smock, or if you're a very super careful artist, at least make sure you push your long sleeves up if you have long sleeves. And be aware of the other artists that you're working with as well. So if you have on your favorite outfit, or you know that your parents are not gonna be happy, um, your adults in your home are going to be upset if you come home with messy clothes. Maybe you're a careful artist, but your table mates are not. So just keep that in mind. We're going to be painting with Q-tips because aspen leaves have that unique little round leaf shape. And so this will give us that shape easily. So I'm just going to dip in. And aspen usually... Once in a while, I come across some that have a reddish appearance. Our red is primarily in here just to give some of those just a little dimension to your leaves and uh, because they're, they're mostly kind of gold and yellow, but we do see some variations, sometimes orange, sometimes some more reddish. And I, you can see I just dove right in, and you do not have to pay super close attention to making sure each leaf is at the end of a branch. You can put some there, but think about when we observe trees in nature, we do not see where each leaf is attached. We just see sometimes big masses of color. And so I'm gonna go around and I'm not gonna finish this entire picture on this video. That would take a while, but you can see like that one's not attached to anything, but I'm thinking about a mass of foliage here. So let's just stick with those two for now, but I would do this throughout my whole picture. And so now, and I can, these get a little bit mushy. So you can flip ends if you want. If it gets really mushy on both sides, you can get another one. But I'm just gonna go in with some of this sort of golden orange and start putting some more in. Please don't grab your Q-tip and make a big smeary circle. All this hard work that you've done over the last couple days, you're not gonna be happy with that result. So think about that. You can see I must have dripped some red paint when I was getting my paint together. I just noticed that. Those little things I'm not concerned about. Maybe I'll put some, some foliage right there some of these could be falling off as well and so let's try let's just put a little dab of red in there if you do something you're really not happy with very forgivable uh medium here that we're working with we can let it totally dry don't try to cover it while it's wet but you could go in tomorrow and you could just totally cover that up i'm just softening it a little bit, which you can do. So you can see that just adding some foliage in, it's okay to overlap it on your trunks because when we look at these trees with the leaves, we see foliage right on top of the trunks as well because there are probably branches that are would be sticking out of the front that we wouldn't even see the branches. So you can put a little bit or a lot. I have a lot of students who love the way their trees look so much without the foliage. They just put just a little bit. So you might decide, hey, I'm just gonna put a few little leaves here and there and just have a little bit and just have that effect. And those are gorgeous too. So your choice, and again, do a little bit, you can always add more, you can't really take it away. And so if I look at that and think, oh dear, that's just way too much, 
then there's not too much I can do about that except try to balance it out so that this tree doesn't have a ton and these don't have so much, even though that could happen in nature too. And so it's your artwork. Again, you can put a lot, you can put a little tiny bit. If you really look at your artwork without any foliage, and by foliage, of course, we mean the leaves that we're adding, and you think, I don't wanna do that. I just think this is so beautiful without it. It's your work. You can make that decision. It's absolutely fine if you choose to leave it just more of a winter effect where the leaves have already fallen from the trees. That is your choice. All right, happy creating.